Vision is now You got it. Hey Best Pally, I'm Allie, and today I will lift the most weight that I have ever taken off the earth before. I did eight weeks of powerlifting training leading up to today, my first powerlifting competition. Actually, it was eight weeks of training and then one week of excruciating taper. Oh, hello, it's former me in the middle of my taper, which is called that because you work out less and less leading up to a competition so that you're not fatigued. Which means I have to do 60 pounds less of this, and 40 pounds less of this, and 100 pounds less of this. Yep. <sighs> Sorry, neighbors. And I'm only allowed to do that three days this week. The rest of the days I spent Covering, which was worth it because now my body is fully prepared to hit a one repetition maximum on back squat, bench press, and deadlift. Wait, actually, the outside of my body is not fully prepared yet. There we go. Now I'm nice and threatening to the competition. I should mention that this competition, well, powerlifting meets are called meets because a bunch of people meet up, and that's still not okay in the current global condition. Well, there are no meets in existence, and this is a mock powerlifting competition that I'm doing with myself, but that doesn't mean that it's not serious and I am still very nervous because again, my competition is me and I'm very intimidating. And now to head to the weigh-in room. Excuse me, get, get out of here, I gotta do this nude. I am a solid 123.8, 100% muscle obviously. Actually, what weight class would that be? 123.2, 0. 0.6 pounds away. Now I'm like the very bottom smallest person in my weight class. I'm gonna be lifting against people that weigh 132. Yes, I should have cut. Good thing I'm the only entry. And now I have a referee say hello. What's up? This is Christine. I'm adding her to my quarantine team. 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 Christine. Team. I'm gonna call you T from now on. That's fine. You're just That's fine. the ref T. Stuff is opening up now. And also, I, I really just needed a spotter on the bench. And so thank you for saving my life when I drop weight on me. <laughs> Into a real gym. I mean, not that the Barely Gymnasium is not a real gym. It's just that if I'm gonna deadlift, as much as I ever have. I ran out of weight. I thought I got enough, and then I got better in isolation, and then I had to do this. Did a quick warm up to get my heart rate up. Didn't show you that because cardio is boring and stupid. Yes, the ref scored us a squat rack. You need a ref costume. No? <laughs> I'm gonna no ref you so hard. <laughs> Put this on. This is important for the video. I mean, for the competition. I forgot about the fact that I have not lifted with shoes on in months. This is gonna be crazy. Look, it's not carpet. This is fantastic. I don't know if lifters are gonna be better for me or if I should just go barefoot. These help you get better squats and deeper, easier because they lift up your heel and it's really hard. I'm like nervous. I haven't prepared for this in competition. I'm not be doing this. Ooh, pre-workout. I didn't take pre-workout. Should I get it? Not so. Is it too late? Are we too close to I think you should do it without it and see. Without pre-workout? That'll be a true That's test. Right. A I'm true testament. All, all natural. How I'm going to warm up. Exactly the weights, reps, and amount of rest. And this is going to be tedious. So sorry, camera person. Wait, so you're ref, camera woman, spotter, Driver, supplement consultant, be weird failing backwards. Not that I'm going to fail. Oh, weight changer. Obviously, I can't do this. It'll get in the way of my gains. <laughs> okay, show stealer. Enough. Stop pulling focus. This is my video. No! I only need one of this warm up. Getting up there. 145. Well, this feels like a lot of pressure, and I've got the jitters like a real meat. We're probably gonna get kicked out of here because there's like a short window An time. Hour. Yeah. And we came late because I was packing a lot of shooting equipment. I gotta perform my best even though that there's a lot of pressure. This is my last warm up set, so just one of these and then I'm gonna add 20 pounds and hopefully break my own record. <laughs> it's feeling heavy. Did we calculate this right? Do I have 165 right now? Uh, I think. Wait, too late! Wait, 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 w
fan. My heart rate is through the roof. We put clips on too. I like seriously feel Safety like I'm gonna feel first. Right, now. right mindset. I got this. 135, 45, 45, 75, 185. Okay, steps on to the platform. The crowd goes wild. I'm nervous, are you? You gotta let me know if I get deaf the breath. I'm nervous, am I? Oh. Uh, uh, seven out of five. That was not the best form. I wanted to drop it. I was so close. I'm like staring at my knees caving in. That, well, whatever. I got it. We have 10 minutes now before we're getting kicked out. I'm gonna try and fit in my deadlift, even though bench is supposed to come after a squat at a real like, powerlifting meet. They like those people in NASCAR where you have to change the wheels. Thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm like, <laughs> we're getting this done. I'm even more nervous now. <laughs> this is stupid, but I can't do this at home, and we're here. And I prepared for eight weeks. If there was a trophy for fastest deadlift, you win. Trophy for stupidest warm up. So much for calculated rest. Man, I'm feeling strong too. Ah, oh, dang it. We will be closing in five minutes. No. Okay. Okay. I calculated this wrong. 255 for one, my last warm-up, I guess. Good. Oh, last one. This is 255. Five pounds more than I've ever lifted in the past. I don't know. It's also on this bouncy. I'm just making excuses here. This looks like to be a real power lifting I imagine. I get nervous. Come on, we have no minutes left. You got it, let's go. Pressure's on. There's dumb. They're kicking up, they're kicking up. You got it. Up. Oh, I probably could have like keep that up, but did you see I was like collapsing? I was just gonna hurt myself if I kept going. I usually push past and injure myself to get a record like this, but not doing it. Ugh. And we shut the place down. <laughs> Man, that was, how did it look? What, your deadlift? Yeah. You were doing awesome. I was like, I thought you were gonna fight through it, but I'm glad you didn't. But my back, I still kind of feel like is, do you think it was like better than I like? Yeah, 100%. Okay. That's how I hurt my back. Actually. Oh yeah, you hurt your back on that exact weight. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> I stupidly didn't stop. <laughs> I think what helped is that there was a mirror there, unlike most CrossFit gyms, and I was like watching myself have the worst form and then feeling it. Now that my adrenaline has fallen, I'm like pretty bummed. It's stupid. Maybe I should just push through. Do you think you would have done it if you weren't like rushed out of the gym? Yeah, absolutely. I felt like super prepared. I had everything figured out and I was going to warm up perfectly and then nail this. And none of that happened. Like I feel like we were frantically changing the weights. Yeah, but that's also like, a, a, imagine the crowd of a powerlifting competition. I'm, I mean, I've never done it, but I know that it would yeah, but mess I'll, with me. But I don't think you rush. Like, you had yeah, lessons. yeah, there's a lot of time. Whatever, I feel like this was a good lesson because I f f felt prepared and then things happen that you can't prepare for. But now I am prepared. Next time I do a mock powerlifting meet and get kicked out of a gym, I will know what it's like and I'll be ready for it. Or we can just get there on time. Yeah, okay. I had to pack your referee jersey. But all is not lost. I still got a bench. Actually, I forgot. I hit the squat PR. I was too busy being concerned about my fail. Hey! Oh, we're 
we're back in the Barely Gymnasium. Luckily, I have plenty of weight. We're talking about benching, so I can actually do my test here. This is the barbell I know, and this was supposed to be going on between my squat and deadlift, so I give my legs a rest, and that is another excuse for not having gotten my deadlift. It builds character, come on. <laughs> Failing builds character. Thanks, Dad. I do feel a little, like, tweaked. It was not dumb to not finish that lift. It's me convincing myself. Just need one for this warm-up. Very good. And I will rest exactly three minutes. Jeez, when you actually time your rest, it's like, huh? Yeah, I'm probably really cutting my rest in half, usually. Okay, we're good. Time. This is my last warm-up set. Definitely gonna need a spotter on the next one. This, I think, even though I just failed my deadlift, is gonna be the hardest one of all three of them. Bench is always challenging for me, and so if I get this, it will be a very big deal. You're gonna get it. Okay, but what if I don't? Then that's two fails in one video. Everyone's watching. More character builders. <laughs> Dad, stop it! I've done 107.5 before. I got one more attempt. I mean, we're doing a 1RM now. The, the meat, technically, I would have bombed out. Or no, the 100 I did before this was my first lift. There we go. That's my score. I'm gonna wait another five minutes and give it another shot. Man, I feel like I have this, but, uh. Today. I've been at that point before and nailed it. <sighs> Turns out even warming up correctly maybe doesn't end up with a PR. I do feel more prepared if I actually do a real one. I also want to mention that when I hit 107.5 that I was talking about earlier, that was three days ago, so maybe I went a little too hard on my taper. Future Alley jumping in here. I just warmed up my deadlift a couple days later and I want to give this another shot. I was thinking not having the carpet and being able to drop the bar would make me better at lifting, but maybe that's just what I need because I'm used to it now. And also the lack of distractions and being able to take my time. Anyway, if I do get this, it will be all of the weight that I own. So hopefully... I can't believe I just did that. Oh, that is sweet. See, it is so much easier when you're in your element. I had proper warm up time and everything. I just wanted to show you that I thought I had my body prepared and sometimes you do have your body prepared and then your mind is not. So I actually feel like it was good that I put myself through some speedy, stressful, unexpected lifting conditions because now I might be better in the future when there's stuff that I can't control for. Thank you for your help, Ref T. You did great. I mean, one PR per day is plenty for me. <laughs> What's your best bench? I really don't keep count. Not a competition. <laughs> it kind of was. What the? You were even shy! And there are a lot more videos down there where I do 100% successful things, so go check that out.